just one choice away from everything that we want in this life. We are never guaranteed today, so I make every breath my right. We are living on the edge of greatness. How about it? This game the matrix. Can you taste it? You could be weightless without a spaceship. One chance, one shot, in the given time, what you got? I got one mic, one strike, yo, this ain't a game, this is real life, it's what you make of it, I don't know about you, but I'm gonna make a steak of it, cause it's rare to see life well done, so you keep on pushing till that blood don't run, the only choice that I'm giving up is to give up, failure's off the table, not an option in my playbook, run it left, run it right, run it up the gut, hell Mary, if I got a baby, I'ma throw it up, go for it, even 21 and I have to carry life deep they throw dirt don't get buried hardest thing to do in this life is not worry don't go believe in the hype we are worthy just do what you do and you exactly where you're supposed to be we are just one choice away from everything that we want in this life we are never guaranteed today so I make every breath my right we are living on the edge of greatness Good morning and welcome to the Coffee with Chris show. We are running late today. Late. I'm sorry. You know, like, I love doing the news, but one thing about doing the news is that it's a lot of work. That's fair. So, um, we are going to do the news today, which is exciting because we haven't done the news in a very, I haven't done the news in a long time. But, um. But we're doing news you can't use. <laughs> Some of it's news you can use. Well, I'm not sure. The news that I'm giving is news you can't use. You can't, what, are you, yeah. what are you going to do with this news? Nothing. Nothing. Now, this is what I call the um, um, the non-depressing news story, news show. Sure. Yeah, we're not going to do um, the news where we talk about how the world's falling apart and that everything's horrible. Because it is. But, like, let's do the news where... We could talk about weird shit that we like to talk about. Weird shit in the news. That's fine. Yes. Um, <laughs> good morning, David Sugar, and congratulations on winning uh, Mr. Mayhem uh, Leather Bear. Yes. Congratulations, yeah. David Sugar. Hold on. I can. Yay. And give him a little applause. Um, so this set, I used to set before. Um, when I was doing the news upstairs for a hot minute. Um, but like I said, the news takes a lot of time because like in order to do the news, you know, you got to have you got to have pictures and stuff like that. And uh, you have to read the article. Well, I'm not going to read the whole article. I mean, you got to get a gist. Yeah. So um, let's get right into the news. Oh, yeah. Get that music change. So the first one, this I, is very like seductive news. Welcome to the Coffee with Chris Show News Program. Lay back in. This is enjoy. jazzy news. This is the kind of news your mom's gonna be on that cruise. Oh yeah, so my mom's going on a jazz cruise this week <laughs> to Amsterdam. Yes, and jazz in Amsterdam. It's a setup. So uh, if you're into jazz, you might know who Dave Koss is. If you're not into jazz, you've never heard of this guy before. But Dave Koss is huge in jazz scene. And um, this is his big um, jazz cruise. Like, it, like, he's a big deal in the jazz scene. Like, to the point where my mom's like, his jazz cruises sell out mm -hmm. every time. So um, they're all going to Amsterdam. And, like, Dave Koss is, like... Yeah, he's a big pothead too. Like he's a big pothead. So my mom's all like, if Dave Koz is saying we gotta do it, we're I'm gonna do it. <laughs> my mom's never smoked weed before. She is the most straight edge person. But now she's on this Amsterdam jazz cruise. She can't be out with jazz music. But she actually wants to do it. Yeah, I know. She wants to do it. She wants to try the the wacky tobacky. I'm so excited for her. You should tell her to call it reefer. She's just like, excuse me, do you sell reefer here? Mm-hmm. 
I said, mom, you survived the 70s. You survived the 70s as a teenager and didn't get high. So you're retired, you're doing well for yourself. Go get stoned, please. Don't leave this earth and not experience that. My dad got high with some band. Um, <laughs> Tavares? Nobody knows who that is. I don't know. Well, like don't know. a disco band. Okay. No like a, a disco funk band. Um, got high backstage with some band and then apparently it was like laced with something and he got way too high and then promised if he survived, he would never smoke weed again. Well, that's unfortunate. Sorry, dad. You can't be smoking in no back alley. You gotta, you gotta figure out how to do this correctly. But let's go, let's get into the news. Um, I don't have these in any particular order, so whatever pops up first is what I'm gonna talk about. Okay, so this one. Oh, I saw that news. I passed on that news. You passed on this news? It's, it's thrift store news. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised about this. So in a thrift store, uh, someone, I believe this is in Texas somewhere, um, this, this woman bought this like Roman statue out the thrift store. Out of the article, I'm pulling it up. But yeah, um, yep, Texas Goodwill bought this statue for $35 and as a 2000 year old Roman relic, um, it says uh, the head was on the floor under a display table. It definitely looked old. It was carved marble and they priced it for $35. Them kids don't give a fuck. They're just like, I don't know. It's kind of heavy. So yeah, that's what they did. They said it was heavy. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even in like you go to the store they had like the special case section right where they put like the designer purses and shit and and like old cameras and like yeah. weird like you know your nintendo 64s it wasn't even in the special it case. wasn't it was just on the floor under a display table um, she says this is the, he's probably the coolest thing I'm ever going to find the most special there's a lot of history um, so I wonder I'm trying to see okay says so the piece will be displayed at the San Antonio Museum of Art for one year before returning to Germany the bus was later found out to have been listed uh, in a 100 year old catalog from German Art Museum. The bus apparently was brought to the United States by a World War II soldier who probably stole it. From because Nazis. like if this is the second world war, they're gonna steal shit from Germany. Yeah. Um, so uh, it hurt a little bit, it was bittersweet. Like it's nice that there's resolution to it um, that is working out for the best. Uh, it'll be a little bittersweet to see him um, in the museum, but it needs to go home. He wasn't supposed to be here. Now my but does question, she get her thirty five dollars? That's what back. I was gonna ask. Is somebody did somebody give her her thirty five dollars? Somebody better. I give would be her pissed. Thirty five dollars. I'm like, I want my at least give me my thirty five dollars. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether it's gotta be the Texas Museum. Somebody. The Goodwill. The Goodwill. Somebody. But somebody owes her thirty five dollars. <laughs> they do. They. They do. I'm just saying. How much did you spend on that bolo tie? Five ninety nine. Think about it. For another thirty dollars, you could have had a Roman bust. I would. I would um, sell the statue on on the um, dark arts market. The 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 black market for art. Well, I ain't trying to get like involved. they do on oceans. They do. <laughs> They do that, don't they? You like a good oceans I love, movie. I love an oceans movie. You do love a good oceans movie. I would, I would pull a heist and Who's find your those. Favorite oceans character. Well, right now I'm really into oceans eight. I'm really into that girl boss energy. Yeah, I'm here that for that. Well, I like Sandra Bullock. Yeah, she's great. <laughs> so here's some good news. The Mexican piece is coming back to Taco Bell. Are you into that? I don't know. I don't really eat Taco Bell, but apparently the big like parades and fanfare is coming from the South Asian community around the taco, um, this this uh, Mexican pizza. And here's the reason why, because I was just like, yeah, what's that about? Um, it is because you can substitute the meat in the pizza for beans and it's vegetarian. And it's one of the few like 
vegetarian things that uh, people who don't eat beef can get fast food. Okay. So like it's uh, like especially um, you know places like India and things like that where they don't eat cow meat. Um, having something like this uh, that they could get in a drive-thru is something that, like, apparently is a thing. I didn't even think about it like that. I did not either. But um, people are really excited about the Mexican people pizza coming back. So if you are someone who's excited about this Mexican pizza, you can expect to see it um, back in Taco Bell on May 19th. I think I saw something about it in my snack group. Um, oh, your snack it? Yeah, the snack it. They didn't talk about the South Asian population but they did talk about the mexican pizza coming back yeah the mexican pizza is well i mean like i said i don't really eat taco bell but i could see how that's exciting what do you get from taco bell if you go um i like the basic regular tacos oh no i like the one taco that's uh got another taco thing around oh, that's it. too much taco um yeah that's really good I like the Doritos Locos tacos. I don't want all that. It's just a regular taco with a Dorito shell. See, and I don't think that's right. It's good. I don't know. Um, and, or I like the steak soft tacos. Okay. That's on brand for you, though. Yeah, I'm real basic. Yeah. <laughs> um, so here's another good story. So, okay. This woman in Florida, who is the white woman, right? I uh, got married and her food was uh, catered by this black woman and um, a lot of the food had weed in it <laughs> and no one knew and they ate it and everyone got super stoned. I mean, did she know? See, I don't know because the bride's also, um, getting um, is in trouble. So she got arrested and so did the caterer. They both got arrested. She had to have known. Why is the caterer going to waste money on that? Yeah, on infusing but here's, food. Here's the question. When I saw the picture of the bride, I don't know what what that white woman put that caterer through <laughs> before going up to the horse to stay. Because I would have been like, I got y'all, motherfucker. I got, some, I got some coconut oil in here somewhere. I'm just saying. It's still a waste of money. It mean, is a waste expensive. of money. It's not, it's not a cheap prank. I mean, it'd be cheaper to put like laxatives in the food or something. Wow, you're vicious. But that's true. Make some true. brownies. With... Remember that chocolate g laxative? Do they still sell that one? Oh, I don't know, but I I do uh, remember that. I don't. I don't. I hope not. They might actually. Yeah, that seems dangerous. It is dangerous. Here, eat this chocolate. Hour later. Not a good move. So uh, the next story is uh, last night, Kendrick Lamar dropped his new music video and holy crap, it is phenomenal. Um, he used the like, deep fake technology to, um, to um, perform as, uh, I believe one of them was OJ, um, Kanye, Will Smith, Jesse Smollett, and Nipsey Hussle. And it is a fantastic music video. That's creepy. It's super creepy, but it is so good. Um, if you're a fan of Kendrick Lamar's music, like if you could just listen to like what he's saying and like, it is fucking powerful. I mean, I rec if you have any time today, go on YouTube and watch this video. It is so good. It feels like, I mean, seriously, uh, it came out overnight. So I guarantee you, if you are looking at the internet today, you're going to hear <coughs> about this music video. It was that, um, is that dope. So you gotta, you gotta watch it. You got, you gotta watch it. All right, I'll give it a watch. Yeah. Deep fix uh, creeped me out. It was weird because you didn't, I, at, at one point I was just like, that's not his face. Cause you don't, you don't catch it. It's super weird. I'm like, oh, that's OJ. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't know, that's. And then like, he does this weird blink and then he was like, then he was Kanye. And, um, but I, I did wake up in the middle of the night, you know, to, to pee, cause that's when I watched it. So I thought I was sleeping. 
that's creepy. So at, at first, but then when I, I had to watch it again, and I was just like, yo, that is fucking dope. And um, I don't know, Kendrick Lamar to me is like one of those geniuses, like he just gets it. And I think where the rest of the kids are off in this other like land, like Kendrick still, it's like he can't make music without it making, without it having a purpose. Like, like every song has like, he's saying something. So that's what I really appreciate about him. Um, <laughs> y'all are funny. Uh, Chocolate x Lax, y'all are funny. Uh, <laughs> and hey, Rick, hey, Peach. I think I saw Gabby in there. Peg's here. The whole crew's here. All right. What do I got next? You got so much news. I did. I got a lot of good news. I like, I couldn't settle on news. Like, so I only had two. Which is, which was fine. I had to go back and remember what your second one was. Uh, but I, I, I got it. Because it is, uh, well, this was one of yours, which is the coffee that is laced in cocaine. Oh, yeah. Let me talk about that. I'm excited to talk about that. Let me pull up pull up the article. And but while you're doing that, so if, you've, if you're if you a fan of American Dad like I am, um, the new season is up on demand. Uh, and it's the season 17. And actually, one of the um, one of the episodes talks about this. Oh, weird. Yeah. One of the episodes had like they were they had like this makeshift coffee shop out of the garage. And, um, you know, they were like one of the characters was like, I could get this really cheap coffee um, from my homeboy who shipped all this coffee up to him real cheap. And it was all laced in cocaine. Uh, so go ahead. So, yeah, this was um, at a Swiss Nespresso faculty Ooh. facility. I used to have it at an espresso machine, and then my brother broke it, along with everything else. I'm bitter about it. I'm so mad. I'm so happy I don't have a brother. Yeah, they're the worst. Um, <laughs> so, um, workers in a Nespresso factory found 500 kilograms. What? About 1,100 pounds of cocaine with a street value of 50 million. 50, that's a lot. Like did you say 500 kilos? 500 kilos. 500 keys of cocaine. Of cocaine. Uh, it's about 80, 80% pure. Um, its market value is more than 50 million. Holy crap. Um, they think it came from Brazil. What? Um, it's um, So apparently Europe is having a big like cocaine crisis yeah because right this is in italy, italy right no this is in um switzerland switzerland okay so apparently europe is having a pretty big cocaine crisis right now um with lots of um illegal imports and stuff like wow. that Nis um, um rick it's nespresso yeah it wasn't actually like in the coffee so nespresso released nestle who owns nespresso released a statement that none of it came into contact with any of their products or That's anything. That's not fair. So look, I'm real mad But at that would be like a, um, the, the headline, the headline really, it's, the headline is Morning Joel. <laughs> Cocaine stashed at Miss Coffee Beanbags at Swiss Warehouse. This is what I, this was not fair. I'm so mad at people who find drugs. And then they call the police. I am too. Like, you found 50 keys of drugs and you're just like, I'm gonna turn in all 50 keys. There's no way that they gave up all of it. You gotta keep at least one or two and try to like slide it off to someone. Mm -hmm. Cause like, come on, like, don't be dumb. I completely agree with that. And I'm That's sorry. That's exactly what I, I was thinking. I would. I'm sorry. Like you know, if people were just like you were promoting, I'm promoting money, and I'm saying that, like, I, I'm sorry. I would have slid slid off like one or two keys, and so I could just like make make a couple grand right there. 
I mean, especially you're working in an espresso factory. Yeah, you ain't making no damn money. Right. Remember that lady who, like, had that, like, brick of weed fall through her house? This was years ago. I talked about it on this show, so it was not that far along ago. But, like, I vaguely remember it. And she's like, let me call the authorities. What? Yeah. No. You literally had... Uh, no, dumb. That was a, that was a gift. Yes! So, all right, to you all, what would you do if you found a really crazy amount of drugs? Would you call the police? Would you, and if you did, would you give them all of it? Why, just so the police can- Make their money off of it? Make money off of it? Right. Would you call the police? Would you take some? Would you sell it yourself? What would you do? Because I think at 50, 500 keys, I think I would have turned it over because I wouldn't want to be involved because that's too much yeah that that's is. like you're gonna get shot and like massacred over but like i would have done one of them like i would have slid in a couple i know the people who like set this up through the nespresso factory are pissed yeah they are yeah they are they are pissed because they put too much into that transaction yeah they they trusted that transaction way too much no, you got to spread it out. Yeah. Yeah, you can't just you can't just go. I'm going to send 500 keys. But it makes you wonder if um stuff was passed through there before, you know? Cuz I don't think you start out with 500. <laughs> I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think that's the starter amount. Yeah. Yeah, I think you So, it seems to me they probably tried smaller amounts before. They probably been doing this for a minute. Yeah. I I believe that. And then just got a little too greedy. I believe that. I believe that. Uh, so our next article is probably one of my favorites. Um, so some dude, um, I can't, let me see where this was. Um, I think it's, oh, it's Chicago. Oh. This is Chicago. So this dude goes out and walks on the uh, the wing of an airplane. So what makes this even better is that I found out about this on TikTok before I actually saw this article today. So I'm going to show you the TikTok. Let me see if I can't. Here it is. Delta 192, sir. 192, there apparently oh, yeah, is a passenger yeah. on, on the overwing exit. It is now on the wing attempting to jump. Can you alert uh, police, please? Hey, Tower Delta 192, the uh, passenger is uh, mostly naked, running across runway 27 right at Tango. Thank you. Uh, somebody reported possibly seeing a tower. Yeah, he's got his hands up. Yeah, he is walking across the runway right now. Well, that is a new one. Yeah, yeah first time for us, too. And, and now, now that passenger is running, running back, back toward, toward the, the airplane, airplane at this, at this time. time. Okay, thank you. Yeah, we've stopped all around it, and we've got the point 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 point. Point. It's it's the the one of the We have lost sight, sight of him at this time. I'm not sure where he is in relation to the aircraft. Okay, okay they, they have eyes on him, and they said that he's under the plane. Yeah, yeah it sounds, sounds like he's banging, banging on the airplane, airplane trying to get, get back in. in. We're, We're not opening the door to lie in, obviously, so you could probably hurry up. Okay, thanks. Hey, hey Tower Delta 192. Apparently, the individual was outside the aircraft, got, got up on the wing, wing and, and opened the, the overwing exit. <laughs> so, so the, the individual who's running, running around on the runway was not on our aircraft, but, but he, he was outside, outside the aircraft and attempted to get, get in the aircraft from the overwing exit. exit. Okay, thank you. Yeah, Tower, just to be advised, though, they've uh, apprehended the individual. They have him secured inside uh, one of the police cars at this time. So actually, now that I've rewatched that, that is not the same incident. What? Yeah, that is a completely separate incident. What? What's going on? What's happening at the airport? Um, and I believe that incident still happened this year, but that is a separate incident. Um, so yeah, this guy he goes out on the wing of the uh, of an airplane. Uh, my this is my favorite picture of the cops on the wing with him trying to get him uh yeah it was a whole situation this is a united flight over at o'hare airport um 
It says, um, our ground crews stopped the individual outside the aircraft and the person is now with law enforcement. Um, just see here it is Thursday's incident came just a few weeks after another man who was not a passenger climbed onto the wing of an airplane at Chicago's Midway so they were both in Chicago what is going on in ah! Chicago I was just in Chicago you can't go back now I ain't gonna let you go back to Chicago things are out of hand just naked men on just naked the wing, men on the wing of, the wing of airplanes. <laughs> um, okay, this is one that you sent me. I'm really excited about this one. Okay, and this is about a uh, a turkey who's attacked this biker in DC. Yeah, uh, bicyclist has, has attacked multiple people. So be warned. Um, <laughs> be warned if you're around the Anacostia Riverwalk Trail. There's an aggressive turkey. Okay, hold on. Time out. So this is the Anacostia Riverwalk area. Yeah. So this is like newly gentrified area of yeah. D.C. Is the turkey specifically attacking white people in Southeast D.C.? Well, if so, it's it, doing the Lord's work. That is hilarious. Um, it is attacking bikers, <laughs> joggers, and walkers. <laughs> um, so several people have reported being chased, <laughs> slammed into, clawed, and pecked in encounters with the big bird on the Anacostia Riverwalk Trail in the northeast section of D.C. Oh, it's the northeast. Okay. Okay. Um, the turkey came for musician D.D. Florlaren last month <laughs> as he rode his bike through the area. Quote, he jumped in the air and almost clawed my face. <laughs> he kind of knocked me off the bike and literally chased me around for like five minutes. <laughs> That's how it is. It's hilarious. Uh, and then they chased the bird off with a stick. <laughs> okay. Prince George's County Parks and Recreation Department has put up a sign to discourage people from approaching the turkey. <laughs> but some people don't listen. I can't drink my coffee right now. They try to go up to it and like take pictures and stuff like that. That's a quote. <laughs> Oh, no. So the thing is, wild turkeys are making a comeback over across the nation. Mm -hmm. Encounters can be problematic. Males fiercely guard their territories and may also be protecting nests. They can scratch and bruise people and puncture skin with their beaks and claws. Uh, one victim of the D.C. bird reported in February in a local blog, quote, a wild turkey that attacked me in the Anacostia Trail last night. I ended up at urgent care with puncture wounds on my legs. So be careful out there, y'all. <laughs> like, these turkeys are, they're finally getting their revenge. We have been Is it one of the pardon them for holidays. I wonder if it's one of the pardon turkeys from... Yeah, what do they do with them pardon turkeys? Maybe they just let them go. And... <laughs> just let them go. That's what happens when you be pardoning shit. This motherfucker is like, you didn't get me. Gobble, 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 gobble. Uh, <laughs> but can you imagine being chased by somebody that's like, gobble, 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 gobble. Yeah, that would be terrifying. <laughs> Look how big that turkey is. It is big. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, so I know you're not here for it, Sydney. No, I'm terrified. You're terrified. So, you know, um, do you like French fries? Sure, yeah. You like potatoes. I love potatoes. Well, apparently this company um, in Idaho made uh, French fry, French fried perfume. Nobody wants to smell like French fries. 
you could uh you could totally smell like some french fries um with the french fry perfume uh let's see where did i do with that french fry perfume uh here it is um it's called frites oh it's fancy uh it says looking for a last minute valentine's day gift this was back in um february obviously the french fry lover in your life may go head over peels no for this a new perfume from the idaho potato commission yes you read that right purports to give off the aroma of french fries and all their no. greasy salty splendor no no it does make me want some poutine though so maybe it's working uh here we go it says dubbed frites by idaho the limited edition fragrance was going for a dollar 89 <laughs> for 1.7 <laughs> <laughs> for seven ounce bottle on the commission's <laughs> website before selling out a giveaway promising more bottles of the tater spray ends on sunday so you can't get it no more well for a dollar 89 i mean everybody snatched that up who wouldn't snatch that up? Yeah. It says the Idaho Commission has additional potato merchandise available for those addicted to spuds, including French fry holders, um, Idaho potato playing cards, a miniature potato hauling truck, and a three foot tall spuddy buddy. That sounds obscene. I mean, it's a lot. It sounds like something someone would be asking for on Grinder. I'm looking for a spuddy buddy. That's fair. Yeah. Um, Maybe that needs to be on my dating profile because I take a spuddy buddy. Someone just to sit around and eat potatoes with. I mean, I get that. Um. All right, let me see here. There's another one. Here's the next, the next one. Uh, so some goats were caught walking down the street in Philadelphia. All right. Um, yeah, some, some wild ass goats. Where did I do with the goat story here? Oh my gosh. Oh no, that's the one I really want to talk about. But that's going to be next. Um, so some goats were just caught walking down the street in Philly and I was just like, I was going to make some joke about goat yoga because that's a thing. That is a thing. Goat yoga is, um, ab absolutely, um, is absolutely a thing. I found a, a cool picture of, um, a woman doing goat yoga, but I don't think it worked. Oh, bummer. Yeah. Um, but uh what what's was... involved with goat yoga um I, I mean are the goats just like roaming around you because goats like eat weird shit don't they no no they like sit on top of you oh like tyrone does yeah like i don't know if this we is... should farm tyrone out is it there we oh go. there we go um farm tyrone out as a a goat uh like a yoga um animal yeah i think that would work Yeah, I think that would work. Tyrone would be totally into that. Yeah, I think Tyrone is. Um, I think that goat is smaller than Tyrone, though. I think that goat is smaller. I can't than Tyrone. imagine doing that pose with Tyrone all on me. No, no. Um, let me see if I can find the picture of. Um, I thought I had. I thought I got it. Um, because uh, because this next story is particularly hilarious and um it might be this one no that was the uh thing with that thing hold on, hold on. i'm serious i'm gonna find this picture it is worth it not that one. Oh, come on i know i saved it gotta rename your pictures well Oh, come on. Womp womp. Because it's really disappointing because, um, 
Ah, oh, here it is. See, this is the picture. It's uh, it's it's definitely. Um, mm, I see what you're saying. Yeah, this is. Let's see if I can get this to work. It's worth it. It's worth it. Because this could happen to anybody. And the first person who I thought of was you. Was me. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because, uh, I mean, this is tragic. This is tragic, right? Like, okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And everybody, everybody's like, what the fuck are you talking about? Okay. So a woman got her hand stuck in the toilet because her phone fell in the toilet. Yeah. And had to call the firefighters and everything to come get her hand out the toilet. Yeah. I feel that. That is some shit that would happen Where did to you. this happen? Uh, this happened in Washington, okay. Washington state, a woman who accidentally dropped her cell phone into the hole of an outhouse oh, in a natural, gross. this is even worse, a national forest and fell in while trying to retrieve it had to be rescued by firefighters in Washington state. Um, the, the fire department chief, uh, said the woman who, who was at the top of Mount Walker in the Olympic National Forest northwest of Seattle had been using her phone when it fell into the toilet on Thursday. Uh, she said that uh, she disassembled the toilet seat and used dog leashes to try to get the phone and eventually used the leashes to tie herself off as she reached for it. That effort failed and she fell into the toilet head first. She could have died. Yeah, she says, well, hey, that didn't work very well, did it? Uh, <laughs> the woman was alone and tried to get out for 10 to 15 minutes, reunited with her phone, and she called 911. Uh, responding firefighters passed her blocks uh, to, send, to stand on um, to reach a harness, which they used to pull her out of the vault. Jeez, that, this is like way more terrifying. Uh, she was washed down and strongly encouraged to seek medical attention after being exposed to human waste, but she just wanted to leave. <laughs> she says, I've been doing this for 40 years and that was a first. Anything? I'm terrified now. I'm already kind of always terrified that I'm going to drop my phone in the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Or that I will knock it into the sink. Yeah. Um, and so I like try to place my phone places and be extra careful so that I don't do that. And so this is like, this is adding to my anxiety bank. Yeah, um, that's not great. Yeah, I already got enough of that. Um, one more thing and then we're going to head out, um, which is something I'm actually really excited about. Um, if you're a fan of Doctor Who... Um, the new doctor was announced. Um, and this is, uh, gosh, I his name. So if you, I watched a show called Sex Education on Netflix. It's a, it's a um, British show on Netflix. And uh, this kid is, he plays Eric on the show. So this was extra exciting. Um, and I just had it freaking frack. Uh, let me see. So, um, and Kuti Gatwa, it's actually pronounced Shuti. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, Shuti, uh, Gawa, I believe, Gawa. And, um, he is really, uh, he's a great actor in, um, in England. And, uh, is this the first black doctor, black man doctor here? This is like a big deal. Um, yep, first. First black actor to play the lead role of the doctor on Doctor Who. Is this going to encourage you to watch and become a Doctor Who fan? I might actually watch this one. Um, our, you know, Joffrey's huge in Doctor Who um, and uh, has been watching for, for years and years and years. So I'm really sure that he's super excited about this. Um, it was a pleasant surprise to see this morning. I'm flipping through Twitter and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, that is exciting. So, um, yeah, if you're a Doctor Who fan, this is um, exciting. If you're not a Doctor Who fan, uh, maybe give it a shot. If you have HBO uh, Max, I believe you can get Doctor Who, um, all this series of Doctor Who. So um, you want to catch up. I mean, and it's a there's lot. like a lot. Yeah. yeah. Doctor Who's been on TV since when the 60s. Yeah. Then there was a break and then it came back.
or something like but there are so many seasons of doctor who so um if there's a if there's something you want to binge and you're just like i'm tired of binging a show that ends in like four or five seasons watch doctor who you'll never you'll never uh run out of stuff to watch so yeah that's the news today that was good news that was a good time huh? that was definitely some of it ended up being news i can use yeah, like I the whole you. toilet thing it's freaking me out <laughs> So out of all the news that we talked about, the toilet thing is the thing that's gotten you yeah, fucked like, up. Like, I feel like I need to, like, not drink any more coffee because it'll exacerbate my anxiety about the toilet. Plus, the more I drink coffee, the more I'm going to have to go to the toilet. And then I'm just going to be thinking about getting stuck in it. Well, the good thing about our bathrooms, there's a lot of places for you to put your phone down. Yeah. Okay. We have a lot of surfaces you could put your phone down. Okay. I'm... I'm I'm sorry that I freaked you out with that one. Yeah, uh, that one freaked me out. Well, there was another one I was going to talk about that I chose not to because I knew that you were going to be like, that can't, I can't do that. Nope, too much. Okay, well, let's not talk about it. There you go. See, I know you. Um, <laughs> so uh, I guess we're, we're going to, this is going to be, I'm sorry this is a quick episode today, but Sydney has a, uh, a meeting in a couple of minutes and um, I also have a meeting later, but yeah, we'll be back on Wednesday. We'll be back. Don't know what's going to happen yet. No, not sure. Not sure, but we will figure it out. Yeah. Um, and this is a yep, my one year anniversary from going on my trip. I saw. <sighs> that was a good time. <laughs> it was terrifying and it was hard. It was a lot, but really it was transformative. I want to do it again. I do, especially when I went outside earlier today. It's all nice and smells good outside. And it's all, it was all morning nice. I was like, oh, that was like one of the best parts. Cause I, you know, I drove a lot in the morning. So get yeah. that morning. Yeah, air. yeah. Anyways. So until Wednesday, make sure you uh, like, share, and follow this show um, on Facebook and all that stuff. I have a link tree now where it has all the links on it, and I have to like figure out how to share that with everybody. All right, that's it's fancy. on my TikTok. So if you follow, you should follow Coffee with Chris on TikTok because things are happening over there. I got <laughs> I have video with like 50,000 50, views right now. I'm like, what is going on? TikTok is weird. Um. So yeah, follow me on TikTok, follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, and obviously here on Facebook, uh, and become a Patreon and do all that shit, you know, help a, help a brother out. Sounds good. Sounds good. All right, y'all, have a fantastic day, <laughs> and we will see you on Wednesday. <laughs>